myself this um, new trendy tower air fryer. Now this is an upright fryer, it's got shelves in it rather than um, rather than a basket per se. And one additional feature it has got, which is rather good, is this rotisserie, which as you see I can clamp chicken or a joint on that and cook it that way. So for doing the rotisserie you don't need the shelves in, you just need the drip tray in the bottom and you need to prepare your whatever it is for the rotisserie. And we had a little poll on YouTube and uh, chicken came out by far the winner. Now there is a limitation uh, for this particular air fryer is the chicken must be a small chicken so it must be around about the size of 1.2 kilograms so um, I've got myself a, a small chicken that falls just under that size and we'll be prepping that up uh, putting it on this spit and then setting it inside the uh, air fryer and getting it going and then we'll see how it turns out shall we all right there's a special tool to remove the spit when it's hot but I'll put that to one side so you're going to need this um, a small chicken I've got myself this nice uh, little small but plump chicken and that comes in at 1.186 so just under 1.2 kilograms and that will make a nice um, half chicken meal for my brother and I. In addition to that I've got some lemon, I've got some of my favourite seasoning which is a, a homemade rub, uh, although you can use whatever fancy rub you like for it, it's up to you, you can get some slap your mama or something like that and uh, it'll do just as good a job and I've got some nice virgin olive oil to rub all over the chicken to, to prep it up ready for spit roasting. So let's not waste any time, we'll get that done. Okay, so w one thing I like to do is get in uh, a bit of salt inside the bird and that helps to season it. And I'm also going to drop in a couple of pieces of lemon. And I've got some, any herbs will do, but uh, thyme and rosemary are particularly good. I've got some frozen rosemary there, which I'll just put inside the bird and that'll help give it some flavour. And then I just want to secure these with some string. Just throw a clovich over that and then tie it to the other one to secure it up. So there we are. I'll snip off those end bits. Just that on that trailing around inside the rotisserie. And apart from the dressing the outside, that's more or less ready on the inside to go. So first thing I want to do is get some olive oil on the outside and I think before I go any further I'm just going to thread the skewer through it. So I've already got this end fastened so that will go straight in and I'll put that in this end and secure it straight into the breast end of the bird and it should sit in nicely like that into the bottom of the breast. And again on that side there's plenty of smoked paprika and garlic in this dressing and there's also some oregano which always goes well with chicken and then we'll flip that around get the other side painted with some olive oil plenty of dressing just make sure that's rubbed in nicely and I want to get a bit of lemon on that so squeeze a lemon likewise the other side just make sure there's plenty seasoned all over and when you're doing it from the top or from the bottom you'll miss the sides so make sure you give it a turn get plenty on the sides flip it around the other way and make sure that one's done now the best thing about a rotisserie is, is that as it turns on the spit, all the juices that would normally run off into the roasting tin get used around the bird. 
and once it's on give it a turn make sure it's engaged onto the skewer likewise with the other side so now we have the bird all spitted up and ready to go on all right let's get that into the air fryer slot it in one side and then it should fit in neatly in the other and just make sure it's able to turn and that's ready to go all right it's looking good okay you can close the door now and then set the timer so you might not be able to see this very well but there's a little button there an LED button chicken take it up to 200 and it wants to go for at least 45 minutes and it wants to go on rotisserie and then we set it going it's already smelling great because of the uh, seasoning that's on there just getting caught in the uh, air system really nice it's about 22 minutes into cooking time and as you see it's doing lovely it's looking really good I cooked some chicken breast fillets in it the other day, um, but not on the rotisserie, and they came out absolutely succulent and delicious. So I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, that's it done. That looks pretty perfect to me. Right, I just need to get it out and transfer it to somewhere where I can cut it up. Wow. That looked pretty fantastic to me. Right, I need to get in and cut that up. So that's it, with the spit removed and cut into two half chicken portions. It's only a little spring chicken, so it'll make two nice half chicken portions. Let's get that plated up. Well, there it is, served up with some uh, coleslaw and some fries. And that's ready to go. Rotisserie chicken on the tower. Rotisserie air fryer. Enjoy. Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.